That's engine, instrument, caution, advisory system. All four screens can be identical if I need them to. I could have four PFDs, which wouldn't be very logical to fly. So I can have it up ECAS for starting in engines. Once I get flying airborne, I can actually turn on my tactical page on my screen. When I go up tactical, that brings up the map pages. I cannot turn on my map pages in this aircraft because you need the map. You have to have your GPS because we're inside a building. I don't have my uh, present position in here. It's being masked by the, uh, the roof, so the GPS is not operational. But this is where the map page will be displayed right now. Inside our aircraft, if I'm up an ECAS page, I can bring on what's called IV Hums. So it's our integrated man uh, health management system for maintenance guys. I can do power checks over here, power checks integrated into the aircraft. I can do rotor track and balances, both main rotor and tail rotor. I've got mechanical diagnosis if I need anything there. And anything I change on this screen is changing over there if it was up. I can return that. I can do usage. I can immediately check how much flight time this aircraft on this flight or cumulative use. This aircraft now has 108 flight time hours. It has any APU time, APU start cycles, the rotor time, and also engine times. Because we have a rotor brake, they won't be the same. Because if I have the rotor brake on there, the rotor time won't match what the engine time is. If I go back to uh, exceedances, I can tell if this aircraft ever had any exceedances. I got airframe exceedances. I've got engine history exceedances, engine two history, and then caution warning advisory exceedances. So right now you can see over here I had a low weight on wheel sensor and it tells me what date it had came on and actually how long it was on for. And that was the last one is on top. So that's kind of nice for management of uh, maintenance. Makes this aircraft really easy to use, especially from a maintenance perspective. We have our ESIS, our backup instrument in case anything goes out here. It's got airspeed, altitude, uh, attitude indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed, all in that one gauge right there. It's ESIS, electronic standby instrument system. Right below that, we have HTOS. Again, it won't show me right now because the GPS is invalid. It doesn't know where it's at because we're inside a building. But this would have the terrain on here right now. It's in the standby mode. I could turn it on if it was working. That's my on mode for my TCAS portion of it. 